Hi everyone, this is Francisco and oh, <coughs> I'm following um, Serpa Design um, a YouTube video on youtube.com and his username is spelled S-E-R-P-A D-E-S-I-G-N Serpa Design um, He teaches people how to create their own terrariums And I actually was pronouncing it incorrectly I was pronouncing it Terrariums Terrariums with the N Terrariums Something like that Um and until like I was trying to spell it on the internet and um, and then like it corrected me and I actually did the I was even trying to pronounce it with Google voice search or I think I was texting I was texting writing a, a comment on YouTube and I used the voice um, recognition to input text and and then it, it didn't understand what the heck I was saying. So eventually I was trying to spell it and then it like figure out it figured out what I was trying to say I think and I think that's how I was able to learn how to pronounce that word. Uh, anyway, yeah like growing up I was a horrible speller. Um never practiced, never read a lot, so to me it's not a big a big thing. Um, it's just a learning experience uh, but anyways um, so oh yeah <coughs> so talking about the terrarium terrariums um, this guy here teaches people how to make their own terrariums so I actually sent the, the link to my sister so she could check it out and um this guy actually has a video that he created um, specifically to teach people how they can create their own terrariums. Um, so I I have been saving a bunch of bottles um, mainly for tools. Like I actually added, like I was saving these seasoning. Um, bottles and I, like you guys can see I put a lot of the tools in there over here I have another one I have a bunch of tools and screws and nuts and washers and hinges just any any container that I was able to find I was saving it you guys can see up here as well I have uh, pennies um, these little things, um, wall punchers, right here have this, uh, like a bunch of con confetti of electronical parts, and I was thinking about adding like an artificial plant above it, because I like the way this looks, I don't know if you guys can see that, and I even added real money in there. I think it looks really nice. Um, but anyways, um, so I wanted to create a video. Oh yeah, see, I even have the cap for this. Um, there's another one over here with a bunch of screws. There's another one over here. This one is a garlic salt um, container thing. I don't think it's really for water or any type of liquids, but uh, it can be used. Um, anyway, so I wanted to start off with just a few quick ones. Um, 
I have this shredded trout that I bought for $1.99 at the Dollar Tree, I think it was. Um, because they sell more than things that are worth more than a dollar, like nine, more than 99 cents plus the tax now. They sell things that are more than a dollar now. Um, but anyways, this container is really nice for creating a terrarium. And I'm actually going to create these and I'm going to give one to my sisters because both of my sisters both have their own apartments. Oh, my si one of my sisters has her own house. One of my sisters just got her apartment and then the other ones the other ones that I create I'm going to keep in here in my bedroom. And then <clears throat> you guys already know I have a bunch of shelves. These um like um shelves, right? See, look at that. I have another one. Peanut butter. Nice and clean. There's another one up here that I dropped the other day. There it is. See that? I have some crazy glue in there. And a USB charging port. Um, so those are th those things right there can easily be converted into terrar terrariums. Um... But um, I'm also going to be using this NASCAF. I don't know if you guys can see that. NASCAF uh, bottle to create a terrarium. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and then I also have this wine cellar. This, it's like a wine holder that my grandma gave to my mom. I really liked it, so I decided to keep it in here in my bedroom. Um, so, uh, so yeah, it's in here, my bedroom. And um, so, you see, you guys see these bottles and stuff? Well, there's a lot of people who love wine, right? So I'm planning on using wine bottles as well, and hopefully I can sell some of these. And and I was even thinking about adding some of these um, small liquor bottles, um, but the ones that have something printed on them that that is not paper, all right. Or maybe I, I should remove the paper. I don't really know, but I know the paper over time will get messed up because of the the moisture and the condensation but I was actually thinking about adding some of these just a, an idea and adding some of these in in here in, in the in the terrarium just to be different right and if someone has a bar or whatever they'll be able to have it right there um so I'll keep that in there. This one's a plastic one. I don't know how plastic ones will work, um, but the ter terrarium guy, um, his name is Tanner. Well, anyways, in the video, he shares how he had like one of these scrapers, and he was able to remove the tape off the glass. I don't know about the plastic though. Um, I really don't know how well this plastic will work out. Um, but, you know, you guys have to wet it and then, you know, I would, I would recommend scraping away from, from your fingers so you guys won't cut yourselves. So scrape away and then also leave it on a flat surface, right? scrape all this clean it up easy way to it won't scratch it I, I used to clean windows so I would um I would clean glass all the time with a razor and like it wouldn't get messed up or anything right so so yeah these uh, oh yeah so I have those three and then this is a gel container super look extreme hold but look at, check out this container though. Imagine the potential. 
Imagine when this has the little plants growing, the terrarium. It's going to look super cool, right? I, I'm going to love this one just because of the the way that this container has been has been um, has been fashioned and designed, right? So I think this one I might just end up keeping for myself. I really want to keep all of them, um, but yeah, these are just some uh, things that I'm going to be working on. So um, I am going to. I w you know, I wish that I had some soil and stuff and some money to get started, but I don't. But anyways, it's okay. You know, we all have to start somewhere. And like the video said. You know, this is a, like a free way, a free way for everyone to design their own. So, if you guys have a wine cellar or know anyone that is into wine and stuff like that, this is a Captain Morgan bottle. People are always throwing them away. Um, back here, it says that they're only worth like five cents or fifteen cents. So, if you guys go to a local bar and you know buy them from them buy the bottles from them because most likely they just won't give them to you if they do then you're lucky but if you if you can tell them hey if you if you go to the recycling place they're only going to give you like five cents per bottle i want some bottles so i have some money here in exchange for some bottles would you be willing to to help me out and I'm, i believe most of them will say yes right but this is also a great way to keep these vintage bottles. Like if you guys have vintage bottles, um, it'll be a great way to utilize them, right? To, to use them. Right here it says Captain Morgan. And then it even has a ship right there. So this is going to be worth a lot of money later on. Alright. Um, so, all you guys have to do is, well, I don't know, either you guys can take this off and then put it in a bigger planter, like a bigger terrarium, like just like that, with a smaller terrarium in, in this one, or you guys can make this into a terrarium and feature it somewhere in your bar. And I, I'm thinking if you guys had like a thing where it'll make a spin, that would be super cool, right? Like slowly, like with a USB. Um, but anyways, that's just an idea because I have this wine cellar uh, holder thing. You know, it's not a cellar, it's just a holder, like a rack thing. And then this one's empty, I just added water to it. I believe yeah it's just water um so I just made I just I have all these bottles in here but they're empty it's just for looks um so anyways you guys can easily convert this into a terrarium and the neat thing about the terrariums from what I understand is that once you guys set it up you guys could walk away for years without doing anything to it and it, and it will, when you come back it will be the same the plants will be alive it will have enough water in there because the water just recycles itself um, so it's awesome <clears throat> so like even like this Jack Daniel bottle it says Jack Daniels on there Jack Daniel so even this one right here, um, this bottle can be added in an existing bigger terrarium, or it can, like I said, it can be made into a smaller terrarium, and it can be placed just like this uh, at a bar or somewhere. Um, so if you guys have family members who own a bar, or um, you guys visit a bar occasionally. You guys can make your own, you know. All you guys need is a little bit of, um, like literally some fucking soil, some 
planter soil, potter, potting soil, uh, some wild plants from the streets, from your backyard or whatever. Um, and then just add a little bit of water, close it off, and you're done. And, I mean, this thing does not have, it doesn't have to be perfect. It will be self-sustaining. It will grow by itself. And it's super awesome. So, I mean, I think it will be better than just staring at this. I'm gonna get to scraping, scraping the fuck out of this fucking piece of shit, fucking tape. Scrape, scrape, scrape. I think I'll have to do it in the sink though. Give me a minute, I'll be back.
Alright, so got this cleaned. Yeah. Nice and clean. I'll heat right now in a little bit. So, this is a safety scraper, and I'm so glad they came with extra blades because um, the blade that I'm using is kind of like dull. It's pretty dull. not really cutting that well. Whoa, I almost cut myself. Gosh. Yeah, you guys have to be very careful with this shit. I know how to properly swap these things out. It doesn't really specify.
<laughs> Alright, this one's also nice and clean. It just has a little bit of uh, dried up food in there. But it will definitely um, dry up over time. And uh, get all like... It will get moist. It will it'll, um, absorb the moisture. And, and then it will be easy to clean it off. But for the time being, I won't even bother with that right now. Um, here, there's also a sticker. Um, I guess that's going to be like the difficult, most difficult part about this project is removing this adhesive, um, especially so that the residue won't get left behind. What I did do last time is I filled this thing up with water. I removed the lid and of course anything that's in it that might be in it and then with the heat it made the glue like um into like a paste um which which allowed me to easily peel it off because right now it's dried it's um it allows it to turn into like a gel all right so like if like if similar to like when someone squeezes uh glue out of a glue bottle like the crazy glue well crazy glue once it has uh, contact with oxygen it just dries up right uh, with this here um, it dries up because I don't know why but with the heat it allows it to uh, remove this shit so I'm gonna try hopefully I don't damage it I'm gonna try to leave it in there for like two three minutes maybe less maybe a minute and then I'm gonna try to peel it off hopefully it comes off because I really like this container It almost looks it almost looks like a diamond, right?
Okay guys, I put it in there for a minute and 30 seconds and I already attempted to remove it and look at that. It's coming right off. And I left the water in there. It's not that hot. But be careful because last time I did it, I done this before. And I grabbed it and I burnt myself a little bit. <laughs> there it is. There it is. And now I got some free tape in the process. I wonder what I could do with this. Anyways, I have my, I have a, a thing, Pexi glass, uh, and I'm using it for nothing but stickers, and I put four, Amer five American flags actually, one right there, the bottom, in each corner, and then one right here, and I can remove this, it's just Pexi glass. And then these are the tattoo stickers, the tattoo for humans, tattoo, uh, the tattoo things. And I placed them on here. Can you guys even see that? That's, that's kind of weird. Anyway, whatever. I, I couldn't see it right now. Um, maybe it's because of my settings here, or because I have a dark background, possibly. This also has a little bit of adhesive, but I'm not going to bother with it right now. Um, now, all I need to do is look for some soil. I'm not going to do it like this guy recommended, um, mainly because I don't have, well I have money but I don't really have the money to like go buy that type of stuff, but even though he went out hiking and he got it all for free, um, so I might, I might be able to pick up some things to like throw in there. Um, But, um, you know, I just want to, I'm going to do something fast, something quick. Um, and I was even thinking, because I was watching these time-lapsed time videos on YouTube of plants. People would place seeds in, the, in containers with a little bit of soil, and they would put it at the edge of uh, glass, and then... They would do. They would record it, and in the time lapse videos, you can see the roots growing and then the plants. So I was thinking, maybe if we just add a little bit of seeds in these things, the seeds will sprout, and the little, you know, like you guys can have like grasses or something like that growing in in these things. Um, 
by just acquiring a few little seeds without having to get twig I mean get tongs or whatever to like um, <coughs> to get in there you know this guy was using like some tools and stuff to plant some some of the plants in there um, so if you guys just throw a few little seeds in there sprinkle some seeds let it do its thing they'll grow keep it there for like a month or two um, and then and then sell it or give it away as a gift um, I think that'll be like the fastest way to mass produce these things without wasting a lot of time or without um, spending too much time on each each um, container right it would just be a matter of adding the the soil sprinkling 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 a little bit of seeds and then adding some twigs and stuff some rocks so that's it walk away you add the water cap it and walk away and it will do its thing anyways I'm going outside and I'm going to uh, find myself some plants I mean some some dirt and some twigs and stuff like that and then I'm going to um, add the water I'm actually going to finish them and then um, once I finish every single one of them I'll show all of you uh, the video okay so I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm going to attempt to pause this because it has a pause button so I'm going to pause it